so I just wanted to show you guys how excited I am about these uh, screens. These are the ones that uh, people have mentioned come from Walmart, although the ones that I've seen other people have, I thought were different than this. Um, and maybe just different Walmarts in different regions carry different kinds, but when I asked for a bug screen, I went, and I guess these are kind of made uh, um, for, like, air conditioners, I guess, or when you would, if you want to prop your window up. I didn't, I've never seen these things, but they're really cool, the ones that in my region, they have wood on the side and sliding things, like window sliding things, so you can adjust the size. <laughs> Forgive me if, if this is a normal product. Um, that I bought four of them because uh, I wasn't, for some reason, I wasn't quite sure that I needed to get one for every single window in the bus. I thought that was going to be a little excessive if I wanted to keep the windows open and um, have screens in. I probably would just select, and I do kind of do that, just select a few strategic windows. So it's a lot of windows. You know, you're just going to go around and just put windows, bug screens in all your windows and open them and shut them all. <laughs> That's a little too, a little too much. So uh, I just bought four. Um, we'll just kind of see how it goes. I haven't permanently attached them. Each one I just kind of, like I took these things I was holding the uh, Aqua Power solar panel with outside and I've kind of just nudged them in there. And they fit really nice. Um, I'm just going to play with them and, until I get uh, uh, really cool ideas about how I want to, how I want to, um, add to them so that I can just quickly take them off and replace them in different windows. Um, but I have strategic ones placed. This is so cool because at night I've just been trying to slide open the windows in the back, uh, just a crack um, away from the light and um, I'm just hoping, you know, just so we can get some airflow <laughs> or ventilation uh, of some sort. Uh, it keeps it a little bit cooler in here because um, I like the coolness. Obviously, this is, this is stupid. Uh, so, anyway, um, I got them nudged in different windows. There's one over there. It's being propped up by those wooden things. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was um, I've been working on finishing the framing of my bed, uh, the wall framing, and I have rosin paper behind it. And this is really my, my pride. I don't know if you can see it. This is what I've been working on is this, uh, this undercarriage. And um, it's so sturdy now, uh, and you can lift it up. It's not really easy, but you can remove it. Um, anyway, I also got I got all of my insulation from the, this sound company, like extra stuff from this sound company called ATS. I think it's in Canada. I could be wrong about that, but I think it is. And um, uh, I got mineral wool scraps, like a huge box of it. It's what the box I have in the back there, a tall one. Um, but I put in the floor, and I didn't want anything up top that uh, could be um, like a lung irritant. And so, um, and I really wanted to try this uh, the denim insulation. But the Menards and stuff stopped stop carrying it. They carried it like a years ago, uh, a years ago, a year ago. But um, evidently, I don't know. And I've tried to buy it online. Even I went because they're like, we well, have to just special order it. Because I tried to buy it online and they it, you couldn't. And then I went there and I kept special order it. So I tried to special order it. Then they're like, okay, I guess you can't special order it because we can't figure it out and <laughs> we don't know how to special order it. So and then I tr it just looked so expensive and it was so much cheaper um, to buy. I accidentally fell again on this company ATS just to buy. Um, because uh, they use 100% cotton slash denim, you know, biodegradable, whatever, uh, insulation uh, as an option. And so, I um, mean, it was cheaper this way. And I could get it in the exact width that I need for the wall um, and the, the mineral wool on the floor I had to kind of slice down the middle because it was really thick. And um, so those are my updates. So that's what I'm going to be doing this evening. I got the bus all snug and um, Lady is snug under there. I got her comfy until I get this done. Um, so I'm going to try to finish this. I got the panels all measured and cut and sanded on along the edges. Um, so yeah, just trying to keep myself accountable, I guess. And just, I am doing stuff every day, just trying to keep doing stuff. Uh, so um, that's, this kind of helps. Thanks.